From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Your Father's Day weekend forecast is coming up. I'm Isabel Rosales, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. The first of its kind Crystal Lagoon is still not in use this morning. People who live nearby are getting really mad over promises made by the development group. They say they were supposed to get all-inclusive access to the lagoon and amenities for $25 a month, but they're getting charged added fees. They've been offered a new discount, but many say that's not good enough. Strong afternoon storms leaves a mess for one Sepphors Hills mobile park home. A giant tree fell on top of a car and winds twisted aluminum on the roof of a home. Thankfully, no one there got hurt. There were never any warnings or watches out for this area. Pasco deputies want you to be aware of a new crime trend hitting the county. Thieves stealing new and used campers. Deputies released video from April. It shows thieves taking a Coleman Lantern camping trailer from a storage lot in the sawmill campground. Deputies say this may be related to other camper thefts over the past two weeks. They suggest taking the extra step to make sure your trailer stays safe, like flattening your tires. A group of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School students will continue their Road to Change bus tour. They will host a cookout and voter registration drives in Chicago. The group is going to 75 cities across the U.S., raising awareness for stricter gun laws and to help register young voters. Now here's Jason Adams with your forecast. Well, Father's Day is Sunday, and we're looking at your weekend outlook pretty good. We'll be hot. It'll be humid. That's typical for this time of year. Temperatures up to around 91 in Tampa today, 89 in Bradenton and Sarasota, St. Pete at 88, Clearwater at 89. Inland spots will be up to around 89 to 92 degrees, and then we'll have the sea breeze that will kick off scattered thunderstorms. It's not a widespread rain chance, but after the noon hour, the sea breeze will start to push in from the Gulf. Best chances to see those scattered thunderstorms today. I-75 and inland. The beaches look to stay mostly dry. And then as we get into your Sunday outlook, we'll watch some of these scattered thunderstorms actually staying mainly well inland. It doesn't look like for Father's Day we have a widespread shower and thunderstorm chance. Futurecast showing that the best chance of rain is going to be well out into the east coast of Florida tomorrow. But temperatures as a response of lower rain chances are going to be even hotter for Father's Day. We're talking about temperatures up to around 92 to 93 for a lot of us for dad. Thanks, Jason, and you can now get all of your updates on all day long on your favorite streaming device. Don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.